Hello and welcome to the world of maps and to our how-to series of video lessons on how to customize a PowerPoint map. Uh, very often customers come to us and ask the question of, is that can they take their PowerPoint presentation and convert it into a web graphic uh, to put up on their website? And the answer to this question is yes, and it's pretty easy to do. So let's uh, dive right in here and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, this, let's just take a, um, a standard US map that we have. This is one that all the elements are separate objects, so we can color them and customize them. And I'm going to just customize this a little bit. So we're just going to take the Great Lakes, and we're going to add in some blue color. We'll go to our formatting palette. We can also bring in our uh, drawing bar. I'll bring that up here in the bottom. We can color from there. So let's color several states. I'm just going to click on some states to represent maybe where our sales offices are. So there we have four states, let's do five states. And we're going to go into our drawing pop-up bar and we'll make that a color. That'll be orange. We can also do that right over here. You notice it's orange right there. So now we have um, our US map. We have it colored with the Great Lakes and our sales offices. I'm going to add a little bit of text up here. So let's just do, oops, in the United States. Let's just stretch this out. And if we stretch this out and select our copy and go to our alignment and spacing in the format palette, we, we can put it right into the center. The great little trick. Just stretch out the, the little text box around the outside and uh, it will be right in the middle if you center it. Let's make the copy the same color as the sales offices and we're just going to increase the size a little bit. So there we have it. There's our map all ready to go. And I'm going to just move this up. Notice I grab the little gray part of the text box and see the text tool, and then it turns into a hand, and I can move this up and down. So everything's all set to go. Let's make sure we save our file. Our presentation is done. We'll go up to the File menu and do Save. So that's all set. Now what we want to do is turn it into a PowerPoint graphic. So we go back into our File pull-down menu, and instead of Save, we're going to do Save As. And PowerPoint has a variety of different options on how you can save a file. One of them is JPEG. JPEG, a graphic format, so this is the format that you use for a lot of the graphics that are on the website, and your web guy will uh, appreciate it if you send him a JPEG file. Right down here, we have JPEG. So if we just select that and we hit save, what it will do is it will take every page in your file, click OK, and turn it into a JPEG graphic and put it in a folder on your hard drive. So if all you have is PowerPoint, you are done. You can now go and grab those graphics and send them to your web guy, and uh, he can make web graphics out of it. So if you have a photo editing program like Photoshop or Paintbrush, we can also do a little bit of editing before we send it to the web guy. So I'm just going to select Photoshop and show you a little bit how that's done. I'm going to go up here to Photoshop. I'm going to do Open. Here's my folder right here that has the graphics, and this particular uh, presentation has five slides in it. So if you'll notice, there they are. Let's move this in here so we can see a little better. There's five slides. There's my map. There's another slide that's in here. So I've got a slide number two. I'm going to do open, and here is my graphic. Now I can crop it and take out the stuff that's down at the bottom, and I'm just using Every uh, paintbrush kind of program or photo editing program uses some way to crop the graphics, so I'm just going to use the cropping tool in Photoshop. Double click on it, and it's ready to go. So just save it, and we'll call it uh, Offices. Hit Save. Leave it as a JPEG file right here. Leave it as JPEG. Hit OK, and it's ready to go. So. That's ready to send off also to your web guy. So you can send the, uh, the original one or you can send the one that you've done some customizing. So thank you for joining us today at uh, World of Maps and our how-to videos. We have lots of different kinds of maps that you have. we have on the site. Um, U.S. maps, world maps, uh, states, countries, counties, all kinds of stuff. So you can check those out on the site. You can also check out our blog. And uh, at the blog, we list um, anything that's new that's coming up and questions and links to our how-to videos. We have lots of videos now, so you can get there. Um, 
You can also sign up for our free uh, tips that we send out periodically and any kind of news. And you can reach that by going to mapsfordesign.blogspot.com. There's the address. And you can also reach it from our um, website, Maps for Design. So thanks for joining us. See you next time.